citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Eskeva. Jeff Kanata is out of town and we'll be back tomorrow. So for now, let's hit the headlines. You may have seen Flyboard's interesting water-powered device, but now Flyboard is taking to the skies. Zapata dropped a video this weekend showing off a test of Flyboard Air, a board that appears to be turbine-powered. The end of the video claims the flight time was 3 minutes and 55 seconds, and the board reached speeds of up to 55 kilometers an hour. But Zapata says this Flyboard can actually fly for up to 10 minutes and hit speeds shy of 150 kilometers an hour. It can also reach an altitude of 10,000 feet max. We'll see how this pans out as they continue testing, and they also say they have a Mission 1 coming soon, uh, but it looks really, really cool, and I really, really want to ride it. More transportation news as the Volocopter took its first manned flight. The Volocopter has been in development for six years, and it finally took its maiden flight last week with a human pilot on board. Previous flights have been unmanned for safety reasons, but this first manned voyage goes relatively smoothly in the video, so those unmanned tests seem to have paid off. Right now, Volocopter can't fly too far since it's an electric vehicle, but the company is working hard on increased flight duration, which, of course, would be the one thing that you would want if you're flying a single-person Drone, basically. <laughs> Electric drone. Uh, I think that we should talk about Flyboard on Thursday's show because obviously everybody wants true hoverboards. This is turbine powered. It's pretty cool. We can talk about jetpacks as well because there's some other turbine jetpack things that are happening in the space. Uh, if you guys want to get in on the conversation, use the hashtag HeyTD and talk to us about it on Twitter. And if we like your tweets, we'll use them in Thursday's show. With that being said, let's check out our photographer of the day. Our photographer of the day today is Jason, who took this picture of a landmark, which is our April theme, with his Galaxy S7 Edge. Jason writes to us and says, hey, Jeff, Ashley, Logan, Bonnie, Chris, Viva, and all the good humans. I see Jason has been reading our credits at the end of the show. It's Jason from North Alabama, and here's a picture of the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Can you say space camp? I was driving home from work and thought this was a perfect landmark for this month's theme, so I whipped out my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, double tapped that home button, and within a second I took this amazing picture. I'm truly impressed with their dual pixel technology. What do y'all think? Well, Jason, I think this is a really good picture, and honestly, it makes me want to run out of this studio right now and go straight to space camp. Straight to space camp. Also. You were, you were selling us real hard on that S7 Edge. I'm just going to tell you. You were really impressed with the dual pixels. You got to double tap the home button for a picture. Really great stuff. If you guys want to submit your photography, the challenge this month is landmarks, points of interest, and monuments. We would love to see your photos. Please email us tomorrow at CNET.com and do what Jason did. Give us permission to use the photo. Tell us a story about it. And tell us what device you use to take the picture. You can also find us all over social media, and if you want to share the show, you can send them to TomorrowDaily.com. Well, that's it for me. Tomorrow, Jeff will be back in his normal seat. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye.